Hi, good morning and welcome to the Frog Connected Classroom SPM series uh, today with English. Uh, so you have, if you have any questions for our teacher today, uh, to our live viewers out there, you can use the Q&A app or even post a question in the comment box in the event page and we will try to answer you. And uh, we are using a hashtag FrogCC. If you're tweeting, Instagramming, or uh, sharing any Facebook posts, do share with us uh, using hashtag FrogCC so that we'll be able to capture your interesting pictures and interesting stories. And uh, do give us your feedback after the session using the link bit.ly slash FCC reflection, FCC capital letter. And today, especially, uh, Puan Rashikin, our GC, has prepared some resources uh, for the students to so the notes that she'll be sharing later. So through the link bit.ly slash, in capital letter, F-C-C-E-N-G-R, small letter E-S. So F-C-C English resource. Bitly slash F-C-C English resource. So that will be the resources that she'll be sharing with us. And yes, for English series today, we have with us Juan Norashikin from SMK uh, Desa Tun Hu Sing On. Yes, she yes. has been teaching since 1987. And she has been a Guru Chumala for English since 2002. Right. Yeah, yes. a long time of teaching, a lot of experiences. <laughs> so yeah, uh, today we'll be talking about how to handle the SPM English paper. Yes. So my first question will be like, is there a strategy on how I can score? Okay. Hmm. Definitely, uh, in whatever that you do, you need to have a strategy. And with strategy, only will you accept in your work. Yep. But uh, importantly, I uh, I would like to say that uh, your formula to success is not just having strategies, but you need to first of all have some sacrifice. You need to sacrifice time. You need to sacrifice uh, your you know uh, headphones, uh, emails, chatting time. You know so that you have uh, time for your uh, studies. And the other one is discipline. And discipline is doing what you know needs to be done, mm. although you may not like to do it, but you know uh, you need to do it. Mm. Uh, like uh, doing exercises that your teachers give you, which is very important, and you don't like it, but it is something that you have to do it. Yeah, it's just 20 days, la, so just <laughs> hold on to it. La. All right. Okay, and the other thing is that you need to have patience. Mm. Only people who, have, who are patient enough will finally accomplish what they want in life. Okay, and as students, uh, you need to focus on what matters, and uh, uh, that is very important. And uh, as for now, uh, your exam is very near, mm -hmm. so your focus is on your studies, yeah. right? Nothing else. And uh, having persistence is also very important, a formula to your success. That uh, you will something that you won't. Uh, whenever you have uh, problems. You know, you you never quit. You yeah, never so give you up. Stop uh -huh. mm. you Keep trying. Keep trying. Yes. You know? All right. Okay. And then, uh, as uh, Jun asked me earlier, whether yes. there is a strategy. formula to score. Yes. Definitely, you must have a uh, strategy. Mm. You must have a strategy. You need to. Ha uh, there is a, a strategy. Is a plan of action mm. of uh, something that you design, something that you pick up. You know, in classrooms, uh, to to get good marks in your uh, English paper. All right, so what is the plan? All right, okay, your strategy. My, <laughs> I always tell my students that uh, in order for you to score mm. in your overall English paper, you need to make sure that you target full marks for your paper two. Paper two. Ah, mm. Because your paper two, the paper two is an easier paper. All right. All right, there are some MCQ questions, mm. multiple choice questions. Where logically the answer for that is and then the other section is on the uh, position we have for uh, information as well. But then uh, the answers are also there. You need to copy the information correctly mm. and transfer it into the space provided for you. So yeah, so you don't even have to think. Everything is there, yeah. so you just yeah. have to read properly. So that's yeah. why I would advise you to really 
make sure that you read the questions well in your paper too mm -hmm. and answer try to answer and leave no room for mistakes all right all right okay so yeah so talking about uh, what is in the English paper, so if you would like to know more about the formats and everything like uh, Puan Rajikin mentioned just now, so uh, Frog Asia published four frog revised sites on the frog store, so you can check that out as well. Uh, we have the exam formats in there as well. Alright, so then moving on, so what is actually tested in the SPM English paper? Okay, in SPM English paper, mm. uh, you will be tested, there are two papers, alright, uh, paper one, where you'll be tested on uh, writing skill. Mm. Uh, we have two essay questions, that is directed writing and uh, continuous writing. Yeah. And definitely, the skill being tested is your ability to write, mm. to write well. So right. I'm sure you should already have known this, la, 20 days to SPM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, for your paper two, there are four sections, all right? Uh, section A, uh, you will be tested uh, for on the whole, your paper two, you are being tested on your reading skill. Mm. For example, in section A, for the visual stimulus and the closed text, uh, you are tested on your reading and understanding of the question, and then you decide and choose the answer. Mm. And for paper uh, section B, the information transfer, as I mentioned earlier, is your ability to understand what is in a text, in an advertisement, you know, a short text, and copy the correct information and transfer it. And uh, that is testing your reading skill, whether you have you have understood the text and uh, uh, from the questions, we want to test you whether you understand the question and you are able to give what you are asked. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically, the whole paper is testing your reading skill, and mm -hmm. also for section D, we have the poem that is uh, reading and understanding of poem yeah. that you have learned in form four and form five, and then we also have the novel, right? Reading and understanding of a novel, uh, you know the characters, the mm -hmm. characteristics of the characters in the novel, the plot, the theme, the moral values learned. Right, and uh, here you only have we, we, uh, students are required to write a, a, a response, and uh, th this is where you the students will be tested on their ability to produce detailed evidence to support their ideas. Uh, so it's something like what we discussed yesterday for PM actually. So you yeah. need the who right and so yes, the collaboration. Yes. Uh, the evidence ah, is okay, very okay. important. All right. So yeah. So moving on. Um, how is there a strategy on uh, how to better answer the paper? So I think the most common question is that paper one or paper two. Which one? Now only twenty days left. Okay, I will answer your first second question first. Ah, okay. All right. Which should I do more? Mm. Paper one or paper two? Mm. Okay, both papers are equally important. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, there's no answer to that question specifically mm. whether paper one or paper two. You whether you like it or not, you have to answer both questions, both papers. All right. And uh, whether there is a strategy on how you can uh, 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 answer both papers, okay? I will talk about the paper one first. Ah, okay. All right. Um, my tips to the students is that before you write, mm. okay, before you enter your exam hall, all right, it is very important that you memorize the formats, all right, the mm. different formats that your teachers have taught you. Memorize them, and preferably, I will always tell my students, uh, memorize all the formats, and then uh, when they enter the exam hall, uh, and the, the invigilators tell them to start, mm. they can immediately jot down whatever that they have memorized on paper, so mm. that they don't forget. For format, lah. For formats, ah, okay. And formats, we have the different types of formats. All right. Um, Apart from, um, you have uh, formats, for example, uh, in this informal letter, mm. all right, uh, you know that there are six items that you need to have in an informal letter. So uh, you need not, as students, you need not write everything down on paper because uh, my suggestion is that you just put, put it on a piece of paper and highlight 
the things that you need to have, for example, sender's address, you just put some lines there to indicate that you have to have uh, sender's address. And you need to uh, date, mm. all right? And then the salutation, and then the body, and where you sign off, and finally your signature. So you will do the same for the other uh, for the other formats, all right? All right. Okay. okay. So what other formats do we have? Okay, we also have uh, students need to memorize the items in a formal letter, mm. uh, article. All right. All right, and then uh, report. Mm. Okay, report very simple. You need a, a title of the report, to whom you are sending to, and from whom is the report written. Also, oh, just by. three things, lah. Uh, three things. <laughs> so easy. easy. All right. And then uh, you also have. Uh, you need to know the format for your talks or your speeches, mm. all right? Uh, introduction uh, to the audience, uh, sorry, greeting uh, of the audience, introducing yourself, mentioning the topic, mentioning the purpose of the speech, and finally, uh, most importantly, the conclusion, just to thank the audience. All right. All right? So, um, so you mentioned about format, la, so very easy uh, you memorize, right? So mm -hmm. uh, how many marks will that get me? So I mean like easy marks. Okay, normally from my experience it's only uh, three marks. Uh, but just hold on right. to the three marks, la, whatever marks you have. Well, the three la. marks makes a lot of difference. Ah, okay, <laughs> all right, cool. All right, so yeah, uh, talking about uh, directed writing just now, so what about continuous writing? That one, the other, no points for you to write. Yeah, so how right. do you do? Okay, for continuous writing you must remember your piece of writing is uh, marked based on impression. Impression marking, is it? Right, impression oh, okay. marking. All right. All right, so the prerequisites. Okay, for the prerequisites, um, mm. okay, uh, in order to be able to write well, you need to know, you have, you need to have knowledge in the subject matter, whatever topics that you choose, whether it is uh, a story, all right, or your, it's uh, something that is factual. Mm. All right, you need to know the subject well. Okay, normally students uh, choose topics that they like, mm. but what you like, you may not know. Okay. You see, you may like music, yeah. but you may not know no, much about music. About music. Yes. So how can you write? Mm. All right, that makes sense, right? Yes. Okay, and then you need to know your uh, grammar rules. All right, uh, logically after many years of uh, learning English, mm. okay, so these are rules that we need to remember, all right, and uh, so like those subject, then now okay, work on the language accuracy, oh, okay. all right, always right. work, work mm -hmm. on that one, okay, and then uh, you also, we, you, you also want to see that you have a range of vocabulary, uh, some good words, some uh, good expressions, idioms, uh, phrasal verbs. Oh, is that what know? they call it? Bombastic. A bombastic words. words. Uh, okay. But too much of bombastic words may make the piece of write, uh, writing difficult to read. Oh, okay. And so not good, too much. A good piece of writing is something that is easy to read mm. by people of any age. All right. All right. So okay. it doesn't mean that you have a lot of bombastic words. You can fit them all in your piece of writing. All right. So use okay. in moderation. Use in moderation, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. And other other than that, you we also would like to see that you know how to use your sentences correctly. Mm. All right. Have variety in your sentences, uh, a sentence structure, mm. and then uh, ideas. Uh, try to expand your ideas, uh, develop them well. Uh, the point is. Uh, Unlike Bahasa Melayu paper, uh, English paper, we are looking for uh, language accuracy, how well students are able to use their English to express their ideas. Mm, okay. right? So I normally tell my students to work on, uh, if it's a factual essay, work on three points right? Right. and elaborate. Mm. Okay, elaborate have a lot of details for each point. That would be better than having a lot of points, points but, but uh, no it's elaboration. just on the surface. Ah, okay, right. Right? So it's better like three solid points with elaboration yes, and examples right. and everything. Okay, exactly. All right. Okay, and then uh, you also need to, once you have written your piece of writing, mm -hmm. you should be able to identify errors so that you, you when you submit your piece of writing, it is error-free. Mm -hmm. Okay. So double check lah. Uh, right. 
And uh, other than that, uh, uh, punctuation, try to have uh, put your punctuation marks correctly, mm. right? Where there is a full stop, put a full stop. Sometimes, UN, you know what? Students have full stop where they shouldn't, shouldn't be a full <laughs> stop. So, uh, uh, as examiners, they will identify that as an error. Oh, right? so you cannot so simply put full stop. Don't put full stop anywhere okay, you can. <laughs> Very, very easy mistake to do, okay. but yeah, avoid that. Yeah, very right. simple things to avoid. Okay. All right. So basically, those are the prerequisites. Mm. Okay, and then um, we will be also talking about uh, how to plan an how, essay. Okay, how to plan an essay. Continuous writing, yeah. All right. Uh, for continuous writing, uh, if you see on the slide there, mm. okay, first you need to decide on, on the topic. As I mentioned earlier, choose a topic that you're familiar with, that mm. you know, you have knowledge about not a topic that you just like. I see. Okay. So out of the five questions, so pick the one that I know more. Yes. I have more points, yes. like solid points right. I can elaborate on. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And then once you have done that, uh, you, it's good that you take time to brainstorm ideas, uh, draw a thinking map mm. or a mind map to brainstorm all the ideas. That means what you need, you want to write uh, in your piece of writing mm. from A to Z. So that will include like points, elaboration, and then our so branch that up will to like include examples. your introduction, what, ah. would you, what you would like to have in the okay. introduction, what you would like to have in the body and mm. the conclusion. And uh, my advice is that your introduction, uh, um, try to make, uh, try to uh, find ways to make your introduction uh, the most interesting. And uh, because uh, the introduction, Paragraph mm. is very important to impress the examiner. First impression. The first impression. Ah, right? okay, uh, okay. Okay. So yeah, write your first paragraph well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, in the body, uh, it is uh, always good to have your ideas, put them uh, in note forms. Mm. All right. When you uh, read, when you draft your essay. Uh, put just simple notes and then expand on the notes, expand on the ideas so that uh, you can use the senses that we mentioned earlier just now uh, to elaborate the ideas. Okay, And finally, once you have uh, done that, you always proofread mm. before you submit the final essay. Piece of so double check. Uh, right. So read, read through your whole essay again, yes. the whole thing. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, here we have some uh, grammar rules mm. uh, that uh, I'm not going to go through the rules here because there are quite a number. Mm. So, so but the, these are the things that you can check for uh, errors when you read. These are errors that student make, students make and they are um, serious errors. All right? Uh, uh, still, uh, Form 5 candidates, uh, they still oh, make errors and with the use of article, the wrong uh, use of article. Uh, and, uh, and okay, the, okay. you know. I see, I see. So, right. this is very serious. All right. right. So, if you if you want this PDF, the one that Puan Rashikin is showing now on all the grammar rules, uh, I repeat again, we have already shared out the PDF through the link. Okay, jot it down now, bit.ly slash capital F C C E N G R small letter E S. So that stands for in FCC English Resource. So bit.ly slash FCC English Res R E S. Alright, so go check that out and you can download all this PDF that Pan is yes. sharing right now. Alright, so that will be about continuous writing. So would you like to explain more? Uh, okay, uh, my final uh, tips for continuous writing is that uh, you focus on the quality of your writing, not the length. Not the length, uh, but uh, there's a limit no of doubt, number? No doubt the length is important, mm. that uh, in continuous writing, students are required to write uh, about 350 yes. words. Yeah. All right? But uh, some students uh, uh, feel that uh, if they write more, mm. they'll get more marks. That's not the case. Ah, that's right? okay. That's not the Sometimes case. Sometimes those students who write Less, mm. all right, gets better marks than those students who write more because the more you write, sometimes the more mistakes, mistakes you make. make. So when you say write less mistakes, does it mean that you still have to reach three fifty? Um, three hundred is that okay? Three hundred. You will not be penalized for 
writing less, oh, slightly okay. less than 350. Mm -hmm. But if you write very short piece of writing, definitely uh, from that very short piece of writing, we know that you have not much uh, information that we can get from your piece of writing, mm. and uh, that will not uh, help you get uh, good marks. All right. All right. Mm. Okay. And uh, don't start writing until you are settled and sure of the topic, especially. Ah, so right. that's the mind map. Okay. That's where the mind map comes My advice is that you spend about uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes, or if you need to, 20 minutes on writing, the the frame. writing down the frame. Oh, okay. All right. So that because sometimes if uh, uh, you will realize that you may not have enough points while you are doing that, and you still have time to change the topic. Mm -hmm. But if you start writing. Uh, on a topic that you have chosen uh, and you realize while you are writing that you don't have ideas, mm. then you are in trouble. Yeah, true, true. Right. So you it's better to spend uh, extra time to do the frame. Yes, right. yes. All right. And uh, as earlier mentioned, the mm. opening paragraph should show the your best, all right, because you want to impress the examiners. So you can already start off with a quote or a saying idiom or something yes, right in the first yes, paragraph. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm sure the, the teachers in the schools have taught them the different ah, ways of right. writing an introduction paragraph, right? I always start my paragraph with question. Right, that's ah. a good uh, way to uh, start a paragraph. Yes. <laughs> so you provoke the... You yes, know, ask a question. Ask questions, right? Yes, all right, okay. Right. So is there anything else? Okay. Uh, yeah, so there is one question actually, so before we move on to uh, how to get uh, good marks in the essay, right? So there's a question asking, um, does the spelling for like British and uh, American spelling for English words, okay. so how, how does that count? Both are acceptable, it's mm. just that when you want to uh, use British, British spelling or mm. American spelling, stick to one. Don't go for both. Oh, okay. All right? Uh, that's the, the thing because sometimes students they they mix American spelling and yeah. British spelling. Mm. All right. So so will that affect the marks? Like if I use American spelling, we should be using British, is it? Is, is not, there a not, rule? Not so much, but uh, we would prefer that students stick to one, whether it's American or British. I see. All right. Okay. So yeah. Thank you very much. I think that was the question from SMK Majakir Sabah. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, moving on. So how do we get good marks in essay? How do we get good marks in essay? Mm. Right. So what is a good essay? How how do you judge? Okay. Here I have some um, uh, criteria mm. that makes a good essay. All right. Uh, since this is a an English paper, language accuracy of the language is very important. All right. You uh, you need to write. English. So that is standard English, right? All right. Okay. So uh, another thing that makes uh, uh, a good piece of writing is it sh should be able to arouse the interest of the reader. Okay. Capture attention. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay, and then it is well planned. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why uh, when before you start writing, you need to do your draft. Yeah, that's why right. one can keep emphasizing a like mind map frame. Yes. Yeah, spend more time. Right. With that. Yes, well planned. Yeah. Uh, when uh, because uh, as a teacher, I when I read my students' essay, mm. I am able to tell whether. They have planned okay. or not. I see, I see. All, right? All right. Okay. So uh, make sure you uh, plan your essay well, mm. organize them, mm. and develop your ideas. So okay. develop means elaborating. Elaborating. With examples. All right. With examples. All right. Okay. Okay. And then uh, uh, you. Oh, we want to also see that you have variety of sentence structure. Mm. All right. And then free from major errors. Like uh, yeah, what, what has been mentioned uh, in the grammar rules. Ah, okay. See, grammar uh, major errors like uh, punctuation marks. All right, not putting full stop, mm. comma, mm. Uh, spelling of simple words. All right, and then uh, uh, major errors not using the subject uh, agreement, uh, subject and verb agreement correctly. 
and definitely the wrong use of tense. Okay, those are uh, all under major errors in writing. All right. Okay, and uh, spelling must be accurate. I mentioned earlier yeah. punctuation. Yep. Uh, writing shows maturity. Uh, it's not you. You're not emotional in your writing. Mm, okay. All right. All right. Okay. For example, they ask you whether boys. Uh, if the question says, should boys learn to cook? And then students may be emotional <laughs> and say that. Oh, we should not learn to cook because that's not a man's job. Yeah, it's, it's a job. Girl, the girl, uh, ah, girl okay. is supposed to do so all this. So that is, you sound immature <laughs> when you write all these okay, things, okay. right? Uh, so um, uh, apart from that, we want to see a range of vocabulary, mm -hmm. interesting expressions, all right. and if you know how, add a, a sense of humor to it. All right. But okay. not many people can do that. Yeah. So if you don't know, just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, then, good handwriting, I see. Good, good handwriting. handwriting. Definitely. Okay. My doctor advised me to advise the students, uh, since they are not doctors yet, mm. make sure they have good handwriting. <laughs> okay. Your handwriting can be bad until you become a doctor. Yeah, okay, all right. So make sure your handwriting is good. So that, okay, I think good that, that helps a lot. Lah. That helps okay, a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, you make the examiner happy. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, and uh, focus, uh, as I mentioned earlier, focus on the uh, quality, quality, not, not the, the quantity, quantity, not yeah. the length that matters mm. so much. Yeah? Okay, and a good piece of writing is a piece of writing uh, whereby examiners, when they read, they can visualize what, what we have written in it. So okay. they can imagine, they so can picture it. Right? They can ah, picture okay, it. Okay. Okay? And ideas are convincing. And I would also advise students to, you know, um, uh, Make it make it personal or something that is touching, mm. right? That would carry. I think it will impress the examiner more. Interesting. So personal, uh, personal touch to it. Yes. I see. Yeah. All right. So to our live viewers out there, so if you have any questions, uh, while Puan Rashikin is explaining and everything, you can post us a question, uh, through the Q and A app. Or you can also send us the question through the event page comments. And uh, we have already have one question from Calvin Wong. So he's okay. asking, just now you mentioned about spelling. All right. Uh, so is it okay if we use the pronunciation to spell? I'm not very good at spelling, he asked. Is yeah. it okay to use the pronunciation? Pronunciation. So like you're not sure uh, how to spell it, but you know how it's pronounced. So uh -huh. can you use the pronunciation to spell it? I do. I'm not sure how you do that. Uh, because I thought you can use that technique for uh, spelling of words in Bahasa Melayu, mm. right? But for English, um, if that is the the desperate measure that you have to take, by all means, uh, do it uh, as long as um, examiners can understand and uh, uh, can figure out what you're trying to say. Ah, okay. Right. So, so last minute backup plan. Yes. Yeah. You try, okay. Try good lah. So okay. means your pronunciation have to be able to let the examiner read. I think you mean this word. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, right. Okay lah. So yeah. yeah. So Calvin Wong, I hope that helps. Uh, so if you really are not very good at spelling, you still have twenty days to improve. But if you are really not good at it, so you can try to use that lah. Okay. All right. So yeah. Moving on. Common mistakes. Yeah. Writing. Yeah. So what are the common mistakes that you should avoid? Okay. Common mistakes in writing. Mm. Okay, uh, use of email and uh, SMS language, green. Ah, uh, okay, the uh, U, Y, O, U, you spell the U. U. They don't write okay. the U, Y, O, U, they just write the letter U, mm. right? Yeah, so, so SMS language, Sometimes no, no. it is out of habit that you do that. So, for exam purpose, please remember that you need to spell out the words correctly. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So make sure okay. you do that. All right. And then uh, certain words uh, like although and but, they never they can never be together. All right. Remember that they can never be together. And then uh, students make mistakes in uh, the use of pronouns. Mm. Like he, she, is it? Uh, beginning they put a she, and then suddenly later they change the. She into a he, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> right, cannot do that. You you make yeah, the examiner confused. Ah, right? so that's why you double that. check, double check, double check. So read through right. your essay again. Yeah, ah. true. Sometimes it's because uh, it's out of carelessness, mm -hmm. or sometimes mm -hmm. because uh, they are rushing for time. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know? Okay. Um, and then spelling of words, simple words. All right. Uh, 
uh, I've always come across uh, the word beautiful spelled as B E U T I F U L, not mm. B E A U, you know? Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, hopefully, it is because of the time constraint that they make those mistakes. Right. But if, uh, if uh, we find them, uh, if we find the word occurring uh, uh, in other parts of the writing mm. being spelt the same, the way. same way, so means you don't really that know how to spell that. We assume that the candidate do not know how to spell the word. Okay. So uh, will this be? You? Yeah, that well? is a serious error. In oh, okay, that okay, is serious okay. error. Okay, okay. Right? And uh, as, uh, of course, words that distort meaning, although the spelling may be correct, mm -hmm. but that is not the correct uh, word of uh, the correct spelling of that word that you're trying to uh, okay. say, right? Right. And then uh, earlier on, uh, punctuation marks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Full stop where it is. Okay. Right. And uh, writing too short, mm -hmm. right? So it means they want 350, but you write 150. Yeah. Right, because remember this is a, a piece of writing where they are awarding 50 marks. Mm. All right, and they expect students to write uh, more than just a paragraph long. All right. All right. So this common mistakes is it for uh, paper one only, or paper two also will have this problem? Uh, paper one, uh, mainly paper one, mm. because paper two is testing their reading skills. Okay. All right, and then um, uh, for paper two, they have this novel where they have to write uh, a short response in the form of an uh, essay. So, um, but we do not penalize too much they, uh, for their writing, uh, the grammars that they make. So, if, if I accidentally use SMS language during paper two. It is still fine, is it? No. Okay. Oh, it's still not fine. Okay. <laughs> SMS language, uh, no, no. No. no All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah. So just now you say uh, length is not the problem, but will I get penalized if like extra words? You want 350, I write 500. Okay. 800 words. Is that All right. Okay. Yeah. okay. You, uh, okay, you, that's where your reading skill comes in. Mm -hmm. All right. In the question paper, they will tell you to choose topics from uh, to choose from the five topics given and uh, number of words about 350 so if you write 500 words what does it imply well it implies that you are not reading the instructions carefully mm -hmm. you're not giving what the question wants and another thing that is that you may work you may have to work long hours on just that piece of writing, and are you neglecting the other part of finding you know, mm -hmm. your the other uh, essay as well? Mm -hmm. So and then uh, sometimes you you may get carried away with your piece of writing, and you will make a lot of mistakes, more mistakes than you should should be making, all right? And then uh, they are you know as I mentioned earlier, uh, is the quality that we want. All right, the quality. So we have a question about uh, continuous writing from SMK Desa Tun Hussein on. Yeah, that's my school. All hey, right. How are you? <laughs> okay, so is it okay to memorize essay in order to answer continuous writing? Um, to memorize essay to answer continuous writing. Yeah. All right. To do you encourage that? Um, like really, the load are very weak, so now memorize essay. Okay, my answer to that question is that you can memorize essays, but uh, you memorize for the ideas they put in, you know, for, not for the exact words, no, mm -hmm. not the exact statement, you know, exact order, you know, you, you memorize essays for the ideas that you can get from the essay, maybe the, that piece of essay that you have memorized has an interesting uh, introduction and good points. So um, I wouldn't advise my students to memorize essays. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but memorize the points is OK. Memorize the ideas. Memorize some good expressions or extracts in the mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. All right. So part of the essay is mm -hmm. still OK, lah, but do not memorize the whole essay. Mm -hmm. All right. OK. So yeah, so moving on, that will be question for paper one essays. So I want to know about paper two also because you did mention like okay. try to score more in paper two. So is there any tips about paper two that you can share? Okay, for your paper two, hmm. all right. Um, maybe I will uh, talk about the novel question first. All right, for novel question, 
All right. I always tell my students before they go into the exam hall, when they do their revision, they they need to know the flow of events in the stories. All right. For example, in the school that I'm teaching now, we are doing a step by wicked step. Mm. So there are a few stories in the novel. All right, and uh, there are a few main characters. So what they need to do is to always make an effort to write the flow of the stories. All right, every day. Try to do it every day so that you get you are used to writing the flow of the essay of the events mm -hmm. in the story. And then uh, when the exam comes, all right, you what. I will advise my students is to, uh, when the invigilators tell them to start writing, you jot down the stories that you you think you want to answer, right? You jot it down so that you you won't forget mm -hmm. because they are, uh, we, I understand that students have a lot to study, all right? There are so many things that they need to study and. Uh, uh, they need to memorize a lot of things, yeah. and uh, so uh, memorize what you need to memorize, like novel, the stories you need to memorize. So memorize them, and then uh, at the beginning, when you get the question paper, jot down whatever that you have memorized, put them on paper, and then you can start writing the, you can start answering uh, whichever section that you like, so that you don't forget. I see. All right. So uh, I think we have a uh, a school that would like to ask question. Uh, do we have SMK Kota Samarahan on? So while waiting for SMK Kota Samarahan, so there's a question from SMK Majakir again asking uh, for essay lah, song lyrics. Song lyrics. Song lyrics. It uh, depends on the question. Mm -hmm. right. If uh, the if the song lyrics that you are using um, is not doesn't have grammatical errors, all right, that's one. And then uh, it it fits what you're trying to convey in that piece of writing. There's no problem to it. All right. Okay. So no problem to it, depending on the question. All right. So we have mm -hmm. SNK Kota Samarahan, I think. Uh, hi, do we have Professor Marhan on? Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Uh, hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, in literature component, mm -hmm. if the question asks me to write an event, but I write more than one event, will it be okay? Ah, right. Okay, that's a very good question, Dokman. Okay, All thank right. you. Thank you for the question. Yeah, All so right. I write more than one. Okay, if in the novel question, mm -hmm. they ask for write an event, maybe that is interesting, that you will not forget, all right? And specifically, they mention an event in the question. Okay, and that is exactly what you have to write. Write an event, describe the event, and do not write other events. All right, because uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, reading skill is your reading skill is being tested there. You need to give what the question wants, mm -hmm. and uh, the question requires that you write an event, so give them what they want. Uh, the risk that you're taking if you write more than one event is that, uh, you know, examiners may just re may read the whole uh, uh, answer, the whole piece of uh, response that you have written, but marks will only be awarded for the, first the best uh, one event that you have written. Oh, okay. okay. So you may be wasting time there. All right, when you should be writing just one event, but you have written uh, maybe more than one, so you have wasted them. So uh, my advice is to please read carefully the, the S at the end of words, whether there is event or events, 
make a lot of difference. So if they're so asking for just an reading. event, just write yes, one. Yes, yes. Careful right. with your reading. Ah, look, man. All right. So, but just now you mentioned that if the the examiner will read the whole thing and then choose the best one, so would yeah, my no would my options be like better if I read more? Uh, no. <laughs> you are not answering the question. Uh, so right? asking, oh, they're so asking ask for one event, uh, okay. but they are doing uh, they no uh, they the effort they put in by reading the whole essay is good enough, mm. right? That uh, rather than uh, they not read at all, they just read one. Uh, paragraph that you have written. So it's quite risky in that sense. Uh, so, yes, I see. Yes. Right? So if they want one, just give, it just one, give them one. But right. you have to elaborate, is it? Normally, in uh, novel questions, mm. uh, 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 detailed evidence of, uh, let's say, an event that they are supposed to describe, have uh, detailed evidence to support their ideas. Because uh, what makes an excellent story, all right? The detailed, the detailed evidence written, an ordinary script or a script that uh, awards you uh, lower marks mm. is uh, uh, something uh, and even evidence that is a, just a touch and go. I see. Mm. Okay. So thank you for that. We have SMK uh, Bandar Baru Surting, is it? Or SMK Matu, sorry, SMK Matu, is it? Uh, all right. So while waiting for our live audience, we have one question from SMK Apmapacha. How can I get bonus marks in narrative essay? Or is there any tips on narrative essay? That's the question. Bonus marks. Hmm. So like, higher marks, lah. <laughs> I guess higher marks, lah, for narrative essay. It's not specifically uh, bonus marks, but uh, bonus marks. I I, I understand that uh, what you mean here is that. Uh, better marks, right? Mm. Okay, in order to get the uh, better marks for your narrative writing, all right, uh, a, a good piece of uh, story, all right, is a story that is easy to read, that touches the heart of the reader, you know, and um, uh, easy to read means you may, you may not have a lot of bombastic words, but uh, enough, all right, to to have a few here and there in your piece of writing, and uh, normally for narrative, for narrative, you work on uh, if there is a specific character, you can highlight the character, you put some uh, detail in the character, you know, elaborate the character, or if you want, uh, it it depends on you whether you want to talk to elaborate the, the character, you know, put some characteristics, you know, or you want to highlight events, important events in the story, that means you work on having more details in that in those events that you want to describe. Okay? Okay, so I hope that helps you. Uh, we have another question from SMK Convent Jalan Peel. So our live viewer, how do I know whether my sentences are too long or too short? Yeah, I'm like talking about punctuation. So where should I put my punctuation? So uh, how do I get highest marks for my essay writing? Uh, just now, Bon Arshikin already mentioned a few tips as well. So will the ideas contribute to the marks? Or is it the usage of uh, bombastic words and idioms that contributes to the high marks? Is it the points, the ideas? So that's the question. So how do I know sentences are too long? And is it the ideas that is uh, giving the marks or all this idioms? Okay. Okay. Um, sentence. When you write sentences, yeah. all right, uh, we want you to be able to have variety in your sentence structures. All right. Uh, it doesn't mean that writing a short sentence is not good. All right. Or uh, a longer sentence is a better sentence. When you write short sentence, sometimes people write short sentence as short as one word mm. to show impact, okay. to give impact to your writing. So it is allowed, no problem. All right. But uh, uh, the question earlier, the question asked was uh, whether, how do we know whether the sentence is long? All right. Uh, sometimes when you read your sentence and you feel that you have not uh, there are too many things, uh, ideas put mm. in that sentence, 
maybe you should try to uh, you know separate the ideas and put them in uh, different sentences all right so that whoever is reading it they can understand better because sometimes the longer sentences uh, uh, makes uh, the reader confused all right and we the reader may not understand what you have written all right okay so yeah, so depends on your ideas lah. So if you feel like too too many ideas, too many things at once, mm -hmm. so that is too long already. So you have to split that. Okay. Yeah. The, the second set, the question asked was the whether ideas. the ideas mm. contribute to the marks that they get. Or is okay. it all the flowery words that you okay. use? Okay. Uh, in uh, a, a continuous writing, mm -hmm. students are assessed based on their ability to write accurate sentences and uh, write. Uh, uh, when when uh, read the teachers read, they want to see that students are able to uh, express themselves well. All right. As I mentioned earlier, uh, it's not the number of points that matters. Right. Mm -hmm. The more points you write, uh, but the elaboration is too brief and short. That uh, is not a good piece of writing. You want to be able to, if you if you come up with an idea, uh, elaborate on the idea. Make sure whoever reads really understand what you're trying to say, and you are able to, uh, you know, you are able to uh, make the person picture what you're trying to say. That's a good piece of writing. Yeah. So. Not too many ideas, but a lot of elaboration also, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, um, we have SMK Majakir waiting to go live. Mm -hmm. SMK Majakir, mm -hmm. and then we have up next SMK Ampang Pucha as well. So SMK Majakir, do you have a question for Puan Nora Shikin? Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Diana. Hi. <laughs> I would like to ask, um, other than idioms, facts, and song lyrics, what are the simple things that we can include to make our essays interesting? Thank you. Uh, okay. So idioms, song lyrics, is it you mentioned? So what are the things? Yeah. So what are the things that we can put in? Okay. All right. Uh, other than idioms, all right. You can uh, you uh, vocabularies. Okay. Uh, you. Use precise words, right, that convey meaning. For example, the word walk, you know, instead of using walk when you're rushing, uh, you don't just walk. Mm -hmm. It's uh, to sprint or to, uh, when you walk in the water specifically, this, uh, the word you should use is wade, mm -hmm. all right? So use specific words for uh, certain contexts. All right. So yeah. Um, so I guess the simplest example I can give is just like happy, like the word happy. Yes. Not just happy all the way. There's all, all right. kinds of happy. So yes. specific okay. words that you use. Yeah. La, I see. Okay. So vocabulary is mm. very important. Right. Have a range of vocabulary. Mm. Use your thesaurus if you have one. Mm. All right. Thesaurus uh, has a lot of uh, range of vocabularies that you can uh, choose from. All right. You get ideas from there, and then I'm uh, I I also use. Uh, the activator dictionary that's also a good resource that you can uh, use to help you improve your vocab mm -hmm. okay apart from that the use of uh, phrasal verbs in your writing phrasal verbs are verbs that requires a preposition to go with it to look up to look out for example all right uh -huh. so if you know your phrasal verbs okay that is also a merit mark in uh, in your piece of writing. I see. So what about uh, quotes and sayings from famous people? Yeah, quotes. Uh, recently, I had uh, one student from my school mm. who who is a good uh, who's a good reader. She reads a lot, and she uses uh, quotes in her writing, mm. which is uh, very good to show that you have knowledge. All right, but uh, uh, make sure. The quotes that you use, you elaborate. You okay. know, don't just put the quotes for for having quotes, uh, for just having quotes in your writing. Okay. 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 Uh, so try to explain, to explain what you mean. How you know connect, uh, link it to the idea. Link the quotes 
to the idea that you're trying to say. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. So yes, thank you very much. We up next we have SMK Ampang Pecha. SMK Ampang Pecha. Uh, do you have a question for Puan Rashiki? SMK Ampang Pecha. Hello, we are waiting for SMK Ampang Pecha. Uh, or SMK Matu? Do you have SMK Matu on? Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. I am the man who has been here from SMK Matu. I want to ask, how can I score your highest mark in section B, continuous writing, especially question 4, that is story or narration? And the second question is, can we insert the letter in our essay? How can we defer it? Thank you. Sorry, sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh, how can I score the charisma in section B? Continuous writing is especially question for story or narration. And the second question. And the second question is: Can we insert the letter in our essay? And how can we write it? Can you use letter in our essay? Is that is that your question? Can you use a letter format for your section? No, I think we insert the letter in our story. Uh, I think we heard your first question. Can you type down your second question, please? So, section so, B. Let me just uh, see whether I got your question right. Mm. You mentioned about the, uh, how to score daily that is the continuous writing especially in stories mm. right okay as uh, I mentioned earlier the first thing that you need to do is plan plan what you you want to write okay uh, have a good introduction paragraph okay and then uh, draw out a flow map of the story that you're going to write okay of events in the stories and then, uh, as I mentioned earlier also, okay, uh, in stories, there are characters, there are events, all right? Uh, so, work on uh, uh, elaborating the characters in the story, make it interesting, okay? It's like putting spice to your food, mm -hmm. okay? Add a lot of adjectives to describe the character, if the character is a, a, a very nice person, show in your piece of writing, making use of uh, whatever vocab that you have, okay, show that that person is nice. Make the reader feel that this person is really nice, all right? Or if the person, the character in your story is a, a really bad person, all right? So, Put words, use words, ad adverbs, adjectives, you know, adjectives especially, to describe the writer and to make the reader feel that the reader, uh, to make the reader really hate the character, mm -hmm. right? So if you can do that, that is very good, okay? Uh, and you can work on the elaborating the events, you know, have a climax in your story, and then um, uh, another uh, dream experience that I had is mm. that students write, like to, at the end of the story, they end up by saying, it's, it's just a dream. <laughs> you know, it, it's yep. a really anti-climax ah, for me, so okay. uh, try not to do that, please. Too too cliche. Yeah. Too normal. Like it is a dream. It is uh, a dream. Serious. So try to come up with something creative okay. for that. Okay. So I think the second question was like, uh, can you use a letter as a format for the essay question? Um, writing a letter for continuous. Okay, writing. for continuous writing. Mm -hmm. All right. There, 
there is no format for continuous writing. Your, uh, you use all the different formats. Uh, you are being tested on the different formats of writing in your directed writing. So uh, I don't think you need to use a letter format in your continuous writing. All right. But uh, if uh, if uh, if I may say, if you have uh, dialogues, you can use dialogues. You know, in your continuous writing, uh, to show that there is uh, somebody is talking with somebody. You know, you can use dialogues in inverted commas in your writing. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, we are waiting for questions from SMK Ampang Pecha. So, well, uh, there's another question from SMK Bandar Baru starting asking about summary. So, is it necessary for us to change the words uh, while writing summary for paper two? Okay, is it necessary to change okay, for words? summary writing? Okay, that's a good question to ask. Okay, for summary question, um, your target is to score full marks for your content. Okay, that is a higher weightage compared to your language. Language is only five marks. Okay, so uh, your priority is to make sure you you find all your content points and get that ten marks. Right? And uh, what Dream asked me is that whether it is advisable to change mm. words uh, to construct your own uh, sentence mm. to convey the idea. My advice is as long as your sentence convey the same idea as in the text, mm. that is fine. All right. If you feel that your sentence by changing the words or the sentence will distort the idea, mm. all right, then don't attempt that. Uh, all right. Okay. Use uh, use uh, words from the text. All right to convey that idea. I'm just afraid that uh, students might not convey the same idea as in the text. So they will lose marks there. So it is okay to use uh, the same words from the text? Yes, just because they want to, you know, they want to uh, have uh, use their own uh, words or sentences. Yeah. And uh, But it changes the meaning or it changes the idea that is in the text. Mm. Then they are putting themselves at risk by not getting marks for the content. I see. But is it okay to lift the whole uh, sentence from uh, the text? Lifting is not allowed. Mm. Right. So just rephrase. Yeah, uh, rephrase. But you can use similar words. You can words. use similar words from right. the text. Right. Okay. So uh, we are going to be going off air very soon. So we have one last question from uh, Shukri. Uh, talking about informal writing. So. Uh, Continuous writing, I'm, I'm sure. I think uh, we often rely on contractions to maintain the colloquial tone to make it more realistic. Mm -hmm. So his question is: uh, Is the usage of standard English contractions like can't, mm -hmm. don't, is it acceptable in continuous writing? So yeah. All right. Thank you for the question. All right. Uh, contraction is uh, not allowed uh, in uh, standard writing that is mm. uh, in examinations, but uh, you will not be penalized so much for using the direction. Oh, okay. All right. So I hope that answers the question. So you won't be penalized that much, but if you can, try to avoid like this. Yes. So encourage mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So yeah, uh, I know there's a lot, a lot of questions uh, from schools actually, but we are running out of time. So uh, like I mentioned previously, if you would like uh, us to uh, improve our session, all right, do send us a feedback through the link uh, bit.ly slash FCC reflection like uh, shown on the screen. So Buen Narashikin, just a last wise advice for these kids uh, dealing with uh, SPM English. So anything that you would like to say before we end? Okay, uh, I just want to say that um, uh, certain things that you need to memorize to, to help you answer the exam question, please memorize. Right, you have your your memory bank up here, which is your brain. All right, use that to memorize what you have learned. All right, especially formats of writing, the different formats, mm. the grammar rules, and then uh, in the novel, you you need to memorize the uh, events in the stories. 
all right? And uh, always equip yourself, read, read, always read so that you equip yourself with knowledge, all right? Should whatever questions come out in your essay topics, you have uh, the liberty to answer any questions that you, you have knowledge about. And during your exam, when you go into the exam hall, all right, whatever that you have memorized, put them on paper, all right, uh, so that you don't forget, and you can focus on uh, you can focus on sections in the question paper, and you know that you have all that you have memorized on paper also, and always check the time, all right, the time uh, advised, okay, try to stick to the time so mm -hmm. that you don't answer. Uh, one section, you don't spend too much time ans answering uh, questions on one section and mm. neglecting some other sections, you know. And then uh, uh, make time to think. That is very important because people who make time to think will excel. And then... Uh, That's how you include a yeah, quote in your essay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People who right. make time to think will excel. That, is, that makes a difference, okay? It, the difference between people who are successful in their studies and people who are not successful are uh, these people who are successful, they make time to think. They mm -hmm. think before they decide on an answer, for example. Okay. Okay? And uh, as I mentioned and I stress so many times, please make time to plan also yeah. your piece of writing. All right. okay? And finally, before we go, off, we go off, please take good care of your health. All right. Uh, without good health, uh, <laughs> life true, will be true. miserable. Yep. Okay. Good in get in good enough good uh, get enough sleep, and uh, please manage your time well. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, from now until during the exam, because smart people have already predetermined the best uses of their time. All right. All right. So you see how Pon Rishkin continue. quoted stuff there? Oh my god. Okay. You can use my questions <laughs> to write in your essay, yeah? Yep. So yeah, uh, we are coming to an end already. So I know there's still a lot, a lot of questions going on. So if you'd like to interact more with Pon Rishkin, you can post us your questions on the event page and we will try to get Pon Rishkin whenever she's free to try to answer your yeah. questions uh, on the event page. So uh, give us your feedback as well if you feel like this uh, session is too short. We'll try to improve next time, but we'll need your feedback. Give us uh, through the link on the screen, uh, bit.ly slash FCC reflection, FCC in capital letter. And for today, Wan Rashikin has generously uh, shared out her notes. So if you would like to uh, download it, you can go to the link on the screen as well, bit.ly slash FCC E N G R E S. Uh, that is FCC English Resource. So bit.ly slash FCC English Resource, and you can have the PDFs about planning essays and grammar rules that Pon uh was sharing just now. And uh, just the last thing before we go off, we also have four frog revise sites on the frog store. Get your teachers to download that, share it to you. You can add in all those PDF files that Pon Rashikin sent and use it as your revision site in the Frog VLE. So that's all for today. We have uh, Matt and Sajar coming up uh, for tomorrow and on Thursday. So if you'd like to join us again uh, tomorrow and Thursday, we would be very, very glad to have you. Register on frogasia.com slash frogcc. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for nourishing. Yeah, All right. Welcome. Bye. Bye.